Right, darling, so what have you suggested for us on this glorious day today? Well, uh, we woke up this morning, didn't we? We mm -hmm. felt energized, and I was like, come on then, it's torrential rain. Um, let's go for a nice walk. We weren't <laughs> that keen, but it is pretty, like, look how beautiful it looks. And it is refreshing. I've already fallen over once. <laughs> um, but I'm putting the barber to good use. The first time sort of properly. And I think wet walks are good. Got my Holland Cooper cap. Got my Holland Cooper, uh, what do you call it? Fleece. Country fleece. Fleece Chile. Mm -hmm. My Lushamo Wellies. Literally my favorite countryside brands. The trio. The triumvirate. Triumvirate. Of countryside brands. Right. Dexter and Dickens are love in life. They're livid. They are livid. <laughs> You're wearing Holland Cooper, aren't you? Shall yep. I show your outfit? No. no come on, <laughs> let's, let's get go. cracking. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Come on, my love! Daddy oh, Carrie? He's a soggy dog. He sure is. Let's get them back. Oh, we're having a massage, and it's lovely. You know, mummy said if Michael Van Clark they don't really have a massage, and I liked it. <laughs> Bless them. This salon is called Michael Van Bark. What lovely dogs. Good morning. It is still pouring with rain. We've just had a lovely breakfast and the fire is lit. The doggies are drying off after their little Michael Van Bark experience. And we're just having a really, really cozy weekend at home. Sunday roast is booked at a pub for tomorrow, which is gonna be really nice. Um, but today is one of those days when we just need to batten the hatches as they say now that we've been out to get a little bit of fresh air we are just gonna be cozying up at home i would quite like to watch some harry potter later i feel like we're getting to that time of year but i'm gonna make myself a an, a really cozy matcha latte just using some ginger cinnamon nutmeg and the last of my pumpkin pie spice we're going to be making a really yummy lasagna for dinner this evening but I'm so full for my breakfast I can't even think about that right now and we've got a to-do list of various parts of the house that we want to kind of do that pre-Christmas tidy. First of all however I am going to make my matcha to give me that little very much needed energy boost. My usual oat milk, uh, this is the ancient and brave matcha and then yeah a couple of little spices to make it really lovely and cozy and then the jobs on my to-do list charlie wants to clear out the cabinet under the tv i don't know why he wants to do that but he does i have got some post to unbox and i do want to have a little bit of a beauty product clear out upstairs it's definitely the day for it for sure there is nothing that can be done outside now the rain has got even worse since we got back from our walk I'm going to try making this entire matcha in my milk frother hopefully that might save me a little bit of washing up so let's give it a go hopefully this is going to be delicious so I'm starting off with two teaspoons of matcha powder this is probably going to end up being a bit of a matcha chai i'm going to do half a teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of ground ginger a dash of pumpkin spice oh that smells so good and then we'll add in the oat milk i did end up adding a little bit of matcha into the glass hello <laughs> um but let's see how this is going to turn out matcha milk on matcha perfect quantity and i'm just going to finish with a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg actually do you know what i'm going to treat myself to a little bit of maple syrup 
to make it extra autumnal. <laughs> Can you even see me? It is so dark. Okay, let's give this a try. That is so delicious. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That is so cozy. I feel like if you are not yet on the matcha hype, if your taste buds are not quite there yet, because it does take a little bit of getting used to, I think a little bit of those festive spices, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, a dash of maple syrup, and that is perfection. Mm, perfect cozy afternoon drink. Does daddy put your bed in front of the fire? Does daddy put your bed in front of the fire? So one of the first areas that I'm gonna tidy up today is the dressing room. You can't see too much of the mess right now, but let me assure you everywhere the camera cannot see is currently messy, but that is, that's on the agenda. I have a really random, exceptionally random product favorite to share with you. It's something that arrived in the post and that I have been loving. I, I am still a fan of applying my makeup with a sponge, but I have to say that, especially with something like a BB cream, the sponge just absorbs so much of the product, and I know that it does, because when I wash the sponge, I can see it all going down the drain, which is a bit of a nightmare. This is a little makeup brush from a company called Skin Bay, and they're really densely packed bristles, and I just find that it gives me a really flawless finish to my makeup. I used it this morning, um, and I'm a big fan. I even use it to blot in the powder. They've given me a discount code, which is Josie, and that gets you 40% off. So if you want a little switch up to makeup routine, I'm gonna leave them linked down below because I have been very much enjoying using them. But anyway, the real reason why I've come up here is because I've had a very exciting delivery, and this is something that, as a grown-up, fellow fellow grown-ups, you will appreciate my excitement around a new toothbrush. <laughs> At Christmas, Christmas is a time of year that I, um, ooh, my light's gone off. There we go. <laughs> it makes such a difference, especially on miserable days. Oh my goodness. Please don't do this to me. I'd like to be bright and illuminated. <sighs> it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Anyway. <laughs> back to toothbrushes. This is the time of year where we think about maybe popping a new toothbrush on our Christmas list because even though they should be, they're often not top priority for treating yourself to a new toothbrush. It's no surprise, my favorite, Spotlight Oral Care. I, you'll have seen me using these all the time. The little travel cases are so handy. I have, I've got the rose gold one that is my go-to for when I'm doing overnight stays or um, staying at Charlie's mom and dad's or going on holiday. And then I've got my pure white one, which is my everyday toothbrush. So, this is the new Sonic Pro, which I'm very, very excited to introduce you to within a fabulous gift set for Christmas. And before I go any further, they've given me the most incredible discount code for this, which I shall share with you. The code is Josie Pro. That will get you an extra £50 off the Sonic Pro luxury Christmas gift set worth £219. Wowza, £100 exclusive to us. Whoa! And the discount code Josie will get you 40% off full price products and an extra 10% off discounted products, which leads me to think that by the time you're watching this video, they may have their cyber offers. I remember last year they were absolutely incredible. So, Spotlight Oral Care. It's a brand that I adore. It is a female founded brand, not just a female founded brand, a sister founded brand. Everything that they stand for, I fully support. They have sustainability at the forefront. They actually made the very first, I believe it was the very first, like cane um, plant based toothpaste tube, which I thought was absolutely incredible. The products are ultra long lasting, um, so reducing your need to keep buying new plastic toothbrushes, and they just work exceptionally well. I exclusively use Spotlight Oral Care um, whitening strips and their whitening accelerator, but let's have a little sneak peek as to what is inside 
this gift set. I think this is a really gorgeous gift idea for loved ones, um, for yourself, for your partner, any husbands, boyfriends watching. You know, it's just something that you know your recipient is really going to use. So this is really, really exciting. It looks, it, it's kind of like the apple of the toothbrush world. It looks very beautiful. It's presented absolutely gorgeously. So here we have got information booklet. Yeah, a jazzy new carry case that feels a little bit more kind of sleek and ergonomic than their previous one. This is my first time seeing this. I'm really excited to see it. Ooh. Why do I get so excited about a toothbrush? Because they're great, that's why. Oh, it literally is. It is the apple of the toothbrush world. So in the box you get not one, not two, but three toothbrush heads, which I think is amazing. Um, I think you should change your toothbrush head, maybe not quite every month, but like every six weeks. These little bits will of course be compostable because the brand is just amazing like that. So really easy to slip one on. Should we just take a moment for the design? They're just so sleek, they're so chic, they are, it's... Yeah, I just adore the design. So this is the new Sonic Ooh. Pro toothbrush. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It just feels really satisfying. It's also really lightweight. So this has got a few very jazzy new bits of technology within the toothbrush. It's got a pressure sensor. It's really not good for our teeth nor our gums to be pushing down too hard when we're brushing. This will glow red if you're pushing too hard, so it's really, really easy to tell. It's got a quadrant timer on it, so basically you should be doing two minutes for your whole mouth. How on earth are you meant to know? Well, this will actually pause, like very briefly, every 30 seconds, so 30, pause, 30, pause, 30, pause, 30, pause, so that you know when to move on to a different quadrant of your mouth, which I think is so, so clever. And this has actually got a really clever mode, um, and it's all about polishing the teeth. So it's so important for not only how white your teeth are and your breath and your overall tooth health, but I was listening to a really interesting podcast. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. It was one of the Zoe Health podcasts, and they were saying how your oral health as well as the obvious things, it can actually impact your brain, it can impact your heart, and there are now these brand new studies. You're gonna have to listen to it. Um, I'm sure the Spotlight team have already listened to it. If not, I'm gonna send it to them because I think it just makes so much sense. But how looking after your teeth and having good oral health has so much more of an impact on our overall health than we ever realized before. But anyway, digression aside, this has got a new very jazzy polish setting. They have compared the level of clean that you get from this new polish setting to having a hygienist appointment, which is absolutely amazing. And that is new to the Sonic Pro toothbrush from Spotlight oral care. 50,000 reps per second, I think it is, which is basically as close to a dentist clean that you're practically ever going to be able to get from home. Something else that I've just noticed, which is really jazzy, is it has got um, a tongue cleaner on the back. Cleaning your tongue is also very, very important. It's got four speed modes, so um, basically every, they've thought of everything for when it comes to getting your brightest, whitest smile and your overall tooth health. So what else? Oh, Lisa and Vanessa, the two sisters, the founders, they are just the loveliest ladies. I love supporting female founder businesses, British businesses, local businesses, and they're based in Ireland, but <laughs> near enough. Anyway, also in here, we've got their teeth whitening strips, which I absolutely love. They are really, really impactful. They make an instant difference. I absolutely love them. Um, people ask me what I do to whiten my teeth. It's literally only these products. And then we've also got in here teeth whitening powder. This is so much easier to use than you might think. You literally put your toothbrush sorry you put your toothpaste on your toothbrush and then dip it into the whitening powder and then brush your teeth it's so easy and i believe it actually contains hydrogen peroxide yeah so it it really works trust me and then this is very jazzy this is new this is their new magnetic oh wowzer i didn't think it'd be magnetic until it was plugged in but a very sleek little charging point 
And that is the sunshine <laughs> officially gone for the day. We've had our lot, so um, apologies about the greyness. But yes, I think this is just such a wonderful gift idea and also something lovely to treat yourself to. I love the upgrades that the girls have made and the Spotlight Oral Care team have made to the new tooth tush, tush, <laughs> toothbrush. And it's just so important to look after our smiles. It makes such a huge impact. I'm actually seeing Dr. Tom, my dentist, tomorrow, so um, I'm sure he will be very impressed by um, my new jazzy, I was about to say oral care routine, <laughs> but I don't really like how that sounds. Um, but yes, I absolutely love, love the brand. All the ingredients within the products, whether it's the whitening or the toothpaste, they are all clean, no nasty ingredients within that, which is fantastic. And you know, super important to me. They're very earth kind sustainable when it comes to their packaging the toothpaste tube being recyclable and even the little bits of protective wear on the products within this biodegradable they've thought of everything so if you want to move to a toothbrush company that is beautiful sustainable and really really impactful then i couldn't recommend these any more highly and we have got the most amazing discount code so it seems like the best time to pick them up and the fact that they've so conveniently put their new launch and the favorite whitening products in this little gift set just makes it so perfect for christmas so my darlings i am going to leave this linked down below and josie pro is the discount code that you need to get this incredible gift set at the fantastic price. You're saving 54%, it's worth over £219 and you'll get it for £100 with the code Josie Pro and with the discount code Josie you will get 40% off full priced products on the Spotlight Oral Care website or an additional 10% off discounted products which is absolutely amazing so Josie Pro if you want to get this or just Josie if you want to get um, a discount on the other things on their website so have a little browse have a little mooch I'm sure that you'll find something fabulous for either yourself or for a gift and now in case you can't tell I'm really putting it off putting off doing it but I'm gonna go and attack um, the TV unit downstairs I need to clear that out it's gonna be boring but Charlie's been on at me to do it so there we go is it weird that I'm excited to brush my teeth later <laughs> because I am I really am My darlings we've done a few hours of tidying in the house Charlie is still pottering away with the football on his iPad doing the post room area which is the most messy area of the house but he's making good headway and I've done the TV cabinet and I've done a little bit of my kind of mess in that post room area as well so I did undo a few um, packages and I thought I would share some of the loveliest bits with you First of all is a little something from Elizabeth Scarlet. You will probably be very familiar with their gorgeous little pouches. I've got a few in my collection. They do the most beautiful embroidered designs and this is one of their latest designs and it's actually a limited edition gift set with Cowshed which is the kind of spa brand of the Soho houses. So really gorgeous, lovely, lovely products. And so that I just feel like this is a really lovely little gift idea for someone that likes a bit of pampering. I know a lot of my friends often have Elizabeth Scarlett's um, bags on their Christmas wish lists. So I thought I would share this one with you. Let's see, Cowshed x Elizabeth Scarlett. Elizabeth Scarlett celebrates wildlife and the natural world, a commitment to protecting iconic wildlife that inspires hand-printed designs. Each accessory gives back to nature. Together with their community, Elizabeth Scarlett is committed to donating £2 million for wildlife conservation by 2030. Cowshed's spa-focused range takes inspiration from the Babington House nature-filled walled garden. We are actually heading to Babington House maybe even when you're watching this, which is very exciting. Each product in the lineup is formulated with wild crafted plant extracts and essential oils to help you feel calm and cared for. A really lovely partnership. So let's see what we have inside. 
I love it. They call this the shelfie set. Whenever you go to a Soho house, if you stay in one of the bedrooms, they have a myriad of cowshed products next to the bathtub or in the shower and they just all smell so amazing. Whenever I smell these products, it reminds me of just the most relaxing and pampering little stay. So I've got the shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, and loads of different shower gels. Um, as it mentioned, all made with beautiful essential oils in the gorgeous Elizabeth Scarlet pouch. So this is such a gorgeous gift idea, really lovely, two fabulous British brands that I absolutely adore. We'll be adding this to our gift guide, which as you're watching this, the gift guide on our vlog should actually be live. I'll pop a little preview on the screen here. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be live because once I've done a little bit more tidying up this afternoon, I'm actually going to sit down and start it. <laughs> so we shall see, we shall see. But yeah, gorgeous little gift from Cowshed and Elizabeth Scarlet, a lovely collaboration. I will leave it linked down below if you would like to treat yourself or someone that you love this Christmas. And then this is another gorgeous delivery and how exciting does this look? This is just the post box, like the postage box. Um, Chelsea Piers is a really gorgeous loungewear and nightwear brand and I've chosen some festive pajamas. I just thought this looked so fabulous. This is actually one of the prints that I have chosen for one of the pajama sets. I don't think I'll start wearing these until December, but I thought we could take a little sneak peek together. Just so beautifully presented. I feel like this would be a really nice thing to just organize to get delivered to your friends by post because it's just the most gorgeous arrival setup. So this is the first pair that actually match the postage box. First of all, first impressions, they are so soft. I was expecting them to just be like a plain cotton, like some of my other pajamas, but they're actually a little bit fleecy. Oh my gosh, the coziest. I love a festive pajama. And yes, we are hosting Christmas here at the house again this year. And Scarlett has already requested that we do matching Christmas PJs and I feel like these are a very strong contender. I will most certainly be wearing these throughout Vlogmas. I've got a sneaky feeling that the brand might be giving us an exclusive discount code. You might have to wait till Cyber Week, but I will double check and I shall leave information about said discount, if it exists, on the screen here. <gasps> oh my gosh. I totally forgot about this. It's a puppy version. <laughs> this, oh my gosh. So this is the same pattern as my pajamas, but it is for a doggy. They are gonna be so cozy. I think we need to dress them up in these little outfits for the first day of Vlogmas. <laughs> I can match my babies. That is just so freaking adorable. This is the next pair of um, human pyjamas in a navy colour. I think they do actually do his and hers. Sometimes I do quite like a dark pair of pyjamas. It's the only time that I really do like to wear dark colours is when I'm cozying up. So that's the second pair. Third pair is a lot more classic and it is just a plain pink with white. It's kind of like a white satin piping. Excuse the fact that these are literally fresh out of the postage box. Um, but hopefully you can see how gorgeously soft they are. These ones I don't need to save until Christmas. I will start wearing them straight away. And they're talking about um, why they are making their pyjamas out of modal, made from beechwood, a plant-based material, kind to the environment because it's biodegradable, easy to look after and comfortable to wear. Really lovely. If you guys have tried Stripe and Stare, these are actually softer, I would say. And then finally, now these are quite a good festive but not too festive pattern and this one has kind of got like merry-go-round festive circus animals as the pattern on it it's really really cute i do love a kind of like fun pajama at this time of year love that this is made from organic certified cotton this one has got a slightly different texture the other the modal ones are a little bit more kind of fleecy and this one is a little bit more lightweight which is great if we've had the fires on because it's just too hot sometimes 
but yeah I love the kind of fairground pattern on these so there we go again I will leave these linked down below alongside any discount codes that I might have if you're looking for some ultra cute festive pyjamas and potentially some that your little doggies can match your PJs as well Okay, I must have watched about five episodes of Gilmore Girls while getting some work done. I just wanted to show you these fabulous little kits. This is what we're going to be having for our dinner. Each of these little trays is a lasagna from Nana Tonda. Normally we make lasagna fresh, but it is pretty time consuming and we do love Nana Tonda. I am not sure that's going to be enough cheese sauce per portion though, so I might make a little bit more, but I think this is going to be absolutely delicious, super easy. We're going to add a little bit more green veg, and this is some of the breadcrumb mixture that I made on my butternut squash mac and cheese the other day, so we'll sprinkle that on top and pop them in the aga, and they should be absolutely delicious. darlings happy sunday i'm very happy that it's sunday although it's still raining it's oh come on it's um yeah it's just like winter has fully set in i have actually been awake since four o'clock this morning what have you been doing since four o'clock this morning you might be thinking well i have been prepping my mega black friday blog post and I actually think that I've got a problem <laughs> because I just find it absolutely addictive. I would say I could just spend hours and hours and hours trawling the internet. Yes, I'm shopping at the same time, um, but also a lot of I, a lot of the time I'm not shopping because the retailers that I'm like putting into the blog, I know when their sale is starting, but it hasn't started yet. Um, but a lot of them will have done by the time this video goes live. So I think the day that this video goes live, which is Sunday the 12th, Remembrance Sunday, sales will be live. <laughs> so do check out the Cyber Week hub on my blog if you have got anything on your wish list or if you're doing any Christmas gifting. Because yeah, I've spent hours, <laughs> hours and hours <clears throat> getting that prepped for you. Um, and I think what I'll really quickly do this morning is just whiz through a few things in my wardrobe, things which I know that you guys are going to love, that I know are in the sale the day that you're watching this. I've had my vitamin C, I actually use the Elizabeth Arden vitamin C. This is going into the sale very soon. Not just yet, keep an eye on my stories. You will be able to get these at an amazing price very, very soon. Yeah, vitamin C capsule. And then I've just popped on my Allies of Skin Peptide and Antioxidant Moisturiser. This one is lovely at this time of year because it has all of the like richness and protectiveness and nourishingness of a really thick, luxurious moisturiser, but it's not that thick. So on days when um, you just want a really quick and easy bout of moisture, great for under makeup, then I love this one. These are buy one, get one free on the Allies of Skin website, and I believe my discount code is JosieLDN, my Instagram handle. If it's anything different, I'll leave it on the screen here, and that gets you an extra 15% off. So this is on the blog the blog on the Cyber Week page. Um, just off the top of my head, other amazing discounts. Boots have actually got a really good discount on. Um, things like Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, um, Dior Sauvage, I know that everyone likes to get their boyfriends and husbands that for Christmas. Cadbury Advent Calendar, I did a little um, edit for Boots, uh, Space NK have got some really good bits, a little bit more premium, Cult Beauty, ooh, MAC, 
20% off most things from MAC and I've ordered a new of my absolute favourite lipsticks, actually not this one but it's very similar, my favourite lipstick probably of all time, tied with the Elizabeth Arden Notably Nude, is that this one? No, um, Notably Nude will be in my handbag <laughs> because I wear it all the time, yeah. This Elizabeth Arden Notably Nude, which will be going into sale very soon, keep an eye on my Instagram stories, and MAC Kinda Sexy are my two all-time, all-time favourite lipsticks, and I ordered two more of my MAC Kinda Sexy this morning, because that is already 20% off. Um, but yeah, have a little look, the Black Friday Hub will be live on the blog, and I spent a lot of time working on it, so please use that as your little base. Um, it's really nice on a desktop, I know it's obviously, you can use it from your phone, but it's really nice to shop from that page on a desktop, and it's not just the kind of codes that you might get in your inbox, um, or from like retailers' Instagrams, because so often, like for example, Allies of Skin, Spotlight Toothbrush, these brands that I work really closely with, they give us extra discounts on top of what's listed on the website, like an extra 15 or 10%, etc. So, um, yeah, as we mentioned, we are going for a nice Sunday rose today, which is great because um, it's miserable <laughs> outside. So I just want to be cozy by the fire. I've been doing a bit of sorting. Just realised you can see a bra hanging from <laughs> my gorgeous knit behind me. Never mind, it's actually a brand new bra, I haven't worn it yet. Um, but I thought it would be the perfect one to wear under the jumper. How tragic. What else did I have to report to you this morning? Oh, I have got a few new bits from Adenola that they very kindly sent as gifting. Um, so maybe I'll do a little Adenola try on for you. Last year they did really good Cyber Week sales. I shouldn't think they'll have launched anything by the time this video goes live. But again, keep an eye on that blog post that'll be linked in the description box down below. Um, and also to report that the Chelsea Pierce pyjamas... I'm wearing the pink ones, as you can see. Literally the softest things in the entire world. I feel like I'm wearing air. <laughs> They're just absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, my darlings, I'm gonna pop on a little weeny bit of BB cream. Um, <laughs> favorite. I'll try and find this in the sales. I'm sure it will be going down somewhere. Um, and I switched up my necklace cluster as well. Little duo here from Astrid and Mew. <laughs> nice chin shot there and they'll be going into the sale very very soon but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you that so let's move on quickly well <laughs> here's something that I never thought I would be wearing on my YouTube channel yes my darlings I'm wearing a leotard I can't even remember the last time I said the word leotard probably um, when I was a schoolgirl, <laughs> so a very long time ago. Um, but yes, okay, so basically, I saw someone, this is annoying, isn't it? I saw someone in my Pilates class last week wearing a leotard, and she looked really cool. And I thought I would consider also wearing a leotard <laughs> to Pilates. And then when I saw leotards, is that word starting to sound strange to anyone? on Adenola, I thought this is my chance, this is my opportunity. So here it is in the, I think it's called the cocoa brown colour, which is my favourite colour of their leggings that I wear all the time. And I've got to say, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. Um, it's it's comfortable, it doesn't feel like it's going to like slip down anywhere, it's quite good on the booty. I have to say, doing Pilates has given me a great booty, but um, Adenola bits are always quite flattering. Like, whenever I wear Adenola leggings, Charlie's always like, oh, your bum looks good in those. So, um, yeah, they are very flattering. You have got a little zip here um, to help you get in. Oh, wowzer, nearly flashed you. Um, to get in and out, but I actually didn't use the zip because it's got a good amount of stretch to it. And this could also be a really nice, like, underlayer. Obviously, you've got to consider going to the bathroom because there's no access. Um, but it could be a really good underlayer if you don't have to go to the bathroom every hour or so as like a really warm base layer. So, for example, my gorgeous green knit here from Really Wild Clothing. And I'm not sure that it's live yet, but I will have a discount code for Really Wild very soon. Keep an eye on my stories. I've been wearing this so much. Um, and yeah, if you do find that you get a little bit of like 
chill <laughs> coming up here and you just want a, a one piece as your thermal underlayer, then this is a really nice option. I also didn't know that Adenola now do like outerwear. So, this gilet is also new in from Adenola and it's just like a really cool kind of puffer style. You know what I'm gonna say, getting myself to Pilates, getting myself to the gym. It's just a really nice way of layering yourself up. It feels very waterproof. It's a really cool kind of military green. Um, and yeah, I love how this looks with a cozy knit, the brown leotard leggings, just something a little bit different from Adenola and I really like it. It's just got a very subtle, Subtle bit of branding here, um, nothing fancy going on on the inside. Some nice little pockets which also feel like they are waterproof lined. So yeah, gilets. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel quite nude and exposed in this little two-piece. Um, obviously not a matching set, but the sports bra, I'm not sure that I'd classify this as a sports bra actually. It's more like a something to put under your knitwear in the daytime if you're going to be a little bit more active than usual basically there's not much support going on here it's really really thin um i think for us petite michael buble gang <laughs> um it's suitable but there's not going to be enough support here if you have got larger boobs or even to be honest for me for doing like a cardio workout like i wouldn't want to do like a lot of jumping <laughs> in this top um like the color though the leggings, however, I really like. I'm gonna pop on a top <laughs> because I do feel exceptionally nude. And I actually have um, one of the waitresses at the Fox at Oddington to thank for this top because we went for a roast recently and she was wearing, one of the girls was wearing a long sleeve brown Adenola top and she just looked really cool. Um, it really suited her, it was very, very flattering. I'm gonna get BB cream on this and that's gonna be really annoying. Hmm. Okay, that was mostly successful, I think. It's a very fitted top. I would actually go as far as to say that this top feels like it's providing more support than the bra underneath. Um, but yeah, the girl working at the Fox, she was wearing jeans and the brown version of this top tucked in. And I'm kind of thinking I should have bought the brown as well because it's just a really nice fit. I know that this kind of like sporty, very fitted look is very on trend, especially with the younger generation. But then also I have seen girls in my Pilates classes wearing outfits like this for Pilates, either all one color or with um, mix and match pieces. So the long sleeve top is also Adenola. As I mentioned, it does feel like it's got a bit of support. If you're thinking about sizing, I would go up because this is pretty tight and I've not left myself much room on the shoulders. I feel like it would be quite nice if they did a cropped version as well because then you just get like a little bit of skin, um, especially if it was like cropped in so that you see a little bit of your waist maybe. I think that could be quite flattering because the leggings, this legging style is really cool. They've got like the Adenola, um, name branding here which some people might like some people might not they're not quite as high waisted like we're just starting to see my tummy button there so i feel like i would be pulling these up a little bit more but i'm sure not everyone has the same crotch to tummy button ratio but i like how sporty they look um i think you can get matching sports bras with this branding which i'd be quite tempted by but yeah i like how it looks with like a cropped version of the long sleeve top and the leggings with the branding, and otherwise they're just the same as the regular Coco leggings, so um, I will be wearing these for like dog walks and gardening and things like that as well. And then every Adenola order just obviously has to include socks because they are just the perfect thickness and I absolutely love them. So yes, that is um, what I chose from Adenola. As I mentioned, they're very kindly gifted these pieces, so thank you, Adenola, very, very kind. Okay, my darlings, you'll be pleased to know I've got some clothing on now, <laughs> which is always a bonus, but I don't have any earrings in. Let's fix that with some teeny weeny little hoops from Monica Vinada, who I have a discount code for, Josie F M V 20 20% off everything, so you can beat the Black Friday rush because that is actually an always-on discount code for Monica Vinada, and everything does sell out as soon as they they officially launch their 20% off. Um, so yeah, get ahead with Monica Vinada. These are the cute little everyday kind of hoops. Okay, so warning. Um, warning or disclaimer? 
I'm gonna spend the next five to seven minutes showing a lot of products because there's some things I've been buying, there's a couple of bits that I have been sent, and there's a couple of things that I wanna share with you that are already on sale. If you don't like too much product, um, skip the next 10 minutes to be safe, but I'm gonna try and keep it short. So, okay, um, a few things that I have spotted that are already in, well, let's go through some of my personal discount codes first. I've just mentioned Monica Vinader, 20% off with the code, Beaufort and Blake, my current favourite cosy knit, a gift from Josie, 15% off. Um, these are all on my discount directory on the blog and on my Black Friday blog post, which will be linked down below. But um, next week is when things are going to start selling out, so hopefully this is useful to just get ahead. So make the most of um, those discount codes. And some things that I found this morning that I wanted to cherry pick and call out to you. I can't remember the retailer, um, but it will be linked down below and on the blog post. My Gucci glasses, that whatever, whenever I wear these, I always get questions. Where are your sunglasses from? Can I get them on discount? They're 30% off now. Yay! I might even buy another pair. These are my most worn sunglasses, probably of all time. They're just such a timeless shape. They... I love them. I love a plain black pair of sunglasses. In fact, I think it was Coggles, the retailer. They had so many amazing sunglasses. Celine, Saint Laurent, Gucci, Prada, so many. And I did an edit on the blog, so I'll leave that link down below. I also found my Max Mara puffer coat, which I absolutely love in this gorgeous gold colour. This was also in the 30% discount, which is amazing. This is this is what I actually wear to get myself to Pilates. It's so warm, it smushes down really small. It's just very elevated. I love the champagne-y kind of color. This is very much one of those buy it once and cherish it for the rest of your life kind of jackets because Max Mara are just totally timeless and I've never had like an elevated puffer before. So 30% off on such a timeless classic piece, I think is, quite insane so um i should think this will sell out pretty quickly so do have a little look if you are in the market for a max mara i mentioned some other beauty favorites earlier this morning but i did realize that my charlotte tilbury sunkissed glow bronzer which is the cream blonde bronzer bronzer that I'm wearing today this is in the cyber sales already as part of like I think it's a buy one get one free or a like something like that gift set so you can either team up with a friend or just buy yourself two <laughs> but to be honest I've had this since early summer and I'm only just hitting pants so you don't necessarily need to because they're very long lasting but that's a great sale <sighs> yeah there's just so many that have already gone live and it's quite overwhelming so I'll leave the blog post down below the moral of the story is have a little look. Let's move on to a couple of things that I've bought myself lately <laughs> because it's such an essential at this time of year. To be honest, M&S do often do cyber sales. Um, I haven't actually checked them yet, but you might get lucky. But I always buy at this time of year a new set of thermals because I just love to be thermally insulated. This is the thickest one and it's kind of brushed. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's brushed on one side, making it super, super soft. It's a little bit thicker. So I also bought the thinner version, which I'll probably end up wearing today actually under this. This is not itchy, but I do like a thermal underneath a knit because also then I don't have to wash the knit so much. It's so much easier to wash the thermal and not the knitwear. So I got the super lightweight in cream. I got the brushed in crimson because I thought that was quite festive. I got the super thin in, I bought a lot, I told you this was gonna be quite product heavy. I bought um, the brushed in taupe, which I think is gonna be a favorite. Another brushed cream, because I wear them so much. Another brushed cream, because they're always in the wash. And another even thicker cream. Didn't even know they did a thicker one, but clearly they do. So I bought a load of thermals from M&S. Oh, this is something I wanted to share with you. So my lovely friend and fellow content creator, Fleur, Fleur de Force, she has got the most elegant, beautiful jewelry collection called Raven James. And she has so kindly sent me a couple of pieces. I haven't actually opened these yet. So this is a little first impressions with you. Oh my goodness, how <gasps> so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. So we have got a pair of earrings here with this beautiful star 
um, charm hanging from it, a gold hoop, but if your heart desires you can actually twist them the other way around and wear these as a silver hoop so you could remove the charm and wear them just as simple hoop earrings, either gold or silver, which is quite frankly genius. Um, and how cute are they? If you are gifting for someone who likes things that are a little bit different, they don't want to necessarily have the same Monica Vinader or Esther Demi or Miss Summers or their friends, then have a look at Fleur's range because so many of the pieces as well are inspired by antique jewellery, which just makes them so unique and beautiful. Oh wow, these, oh my gosh, this is my Christmas party earrings sorted. A little trio of antique looking stars. How beautiful are they? Oh my goodness, this is great because it means I can wear my hair up <laughs> to my next festive occasion. I've got a few nice things in the diary and these will just look so sensational. I cannot wait to wear those. Thank you, Fleur, for sending over such beautiful pieces. Oh my goodness, there's going to be a lot of jewellery <laughs> going into the sales over the next week. Um, so it's really lovely to see something different and to support a fellow content creator. Now, I've got some bits here to share with you also from Holland Cooper, who you all know I am a countryside ambassador for, and when you're watching this, my gifting edit should be live on their website, but I thought I would show you a few of my favourite stocking fillers and gifts from them. So first, first, first of all, they have got the cosiest, fluffiest, softest little um, headbands, ear warmers, and this one is in the classic cable knit, and I think that this would be a gorgeous gift or a gorgeous little treat for yourself. They always look so cute. I have got some ice skating in the diary next week, um, and I'm going to wear this when I'm ice skating. That's adorable. And I always, where's my hat gone? Here. I always like to wear things like that on dog walks as well, um, because my ears get chilly. I also loved this one. I think this is a really gorgeous hat keep your head warm during the winter months. I feel like Christmas is too late to um, get yourself a new hat, so I would recommend doing it sooner rather than later. And I love the brown tones of this. I love the houndstooth, so classic and gorgeous. And then I chose this pair of gloves to include as well. I am a big glove lover. I know some people just never really bother with gloves, but every dog walk from basically this time of year onwards, Anytime I'm going outside, Christmas light shows, even shopping, I will pop a pair of gloves in my handbag. Um, and these are just really classic, gorgeous woolen gloves in this kind of coffee colour and the white trim. So love those. They also, as I included in my edit last year, have got a gorgeous selection of leather gloves, which are so elevated, great for driving, great for smarter occasions. I love the selection of handbags that they have got at Holland Coover at the moment. So many beautiful ones. And this one is probably my favorite. I've got it in the lighter tan color as well, um, which we took some photos styling at Cornwell Manor a few weeks ago, maybe even months ago now. The chain is very, very elegant. It's like a Chanel style chain with a leather included. Um, and then you've got this little section here within the chain, which I think is such a nice detail with the HC logo. I just love it. And it's very classic. It's the kind of bag where you just always keep all of your essentials in it, wear it cross body over everything from your barber, your wax jacket to your smarter outfits. And you can wear it obviously that way round, full suede or this way round with the more subtle Holland Cooper little logo here and um, very handy little pocket there for maybe your phone or your Oyster card. Do people still use Oyster cards? I don't know. Um, and then also for Holland Cooper lovers, they have released a vanity case this year. And I've got to also shout out their candles because they are amazing and so strong smelling. <laughs> But back to the vanity case, it's got a mirror in the lid, it's got loads of room here for your makeup, jewellery, skincare essentials in this very practical wipe clean kind of croc style with the HC logo, very very roomy, perfect for travelling and I just think this would be the most fabulous gift, maybe if you're doing Secret Santa for your girlfriends this would be a gorgeous gift idea. And then of course all of their knits, now that they've got menswear, I feel like Holland Cooper is such a go-to for gifting and treating yourself to at this time of year. And the last couple of things I have to share with you, um, just because I've been so very kindly sent these from some of my favourite beauty brands, Elemis, they often do amazing things at this time of year as well. They have sent over this gorgeous gift set. Elemis gift sets are a great way of getting what are 
very premium price beauty and skincare products at an amazing kind of bundle discount. So this includes the Pro Collagen Eye Treatment Duo, Pro Collagen Day Cream, and the Serum. So if anyone on your Christmas list that you're purchasing for, or even yourself, if you're just looking for like a mega anti-aging collection, this is gorgeous. And then you also get the bag as well. Oh my gosh, the quality of this is lovely. This is not like a cheap afterthought kind of bag. This is a really lovely little vanity. Um, beautiful kind of raspberry fuchsia color. No mirror on the lid like the Holland Cooper one, but I mean, this was essentially a gift with purchase. And they are, of course, like mega full size. So this would be an exceptionally generous Christmas gift for a mother, an auntie, anyone that loves their luxury skincare. This is a really good price um, for very hardworking anti-aging skincare products. And I'm just gonna end on a really cool collab between Charlotte Tilbury and Elton John for the Rocket Fund, which is the AIDS foundation um, created by, is he Sir? Is he Sir Elton? I'm pretty sure he's Sir Elton John. If not, he should be. And this very cool gift arrived from the Charlotte Tilbury and Rocket Fund team. And inside, we've actually got a record which I don't know if it would work. I, I don't have a record player, so I can't test it, but very, very cool. And a selection wall of products um, which support the Elton John Charlotte Tilbury Rocket Fund, which is so incredible. You've got a special pair of sunglasses in here, some very limited edition lipsticks in gorgeous autumnal shades. That is absolutely beautiful. Charlie's mom will love that colour. Um, and this Rocket Fund limited edition makeup pouch. Such an amazing collaboration. Charlotte Tilbury have got, um, as I mentioned, some fabulous bits in the sale already. And I feel like for a Charlotte Tilbury fan, Elton John fan, this collection is a surefire win when it comes to Christmas gifting. So there we go, my darlings. Um, I did have all of those products just kind of saved on the side wanting to show them to you. Now I need to decide what I'm gonna wear because we're heading out for a Sunday roast shortly. And the final discount that I'm gonna share with you today, I'm gonna to sort my hair out, um, but I am gonna probably end up wearing this because it needs to have its first outing. This is the most gorgeous, I feel like I'm not doing it justice because I don't have my hair done or anything, but the most gorgeous coat from LK Bennett. They've also got the most classic, beautiful, timeless coats as well. But um, they are, as of today when you're watching this, 30% off coats and boots. And we'll just do a little switcheroo. These are included in their 30% off. They are just the most practical everyday autumn boots. The kind of thing that I wear, to be honest, most occasions. Going out for a Sunday roast, heading out to Soho Farmhouse. Um, if I've got a day in London, I'll pop on a pair of boots like this because I find boots very supportive and yet you can still get an amazing amount of height, as you can see, without boots, with boots. And LK Bennett footwear is such gorgeous quality. Um, and yeah, coats and boots are 30% off today. So I will be adding a few curls to my hair, but otherwise this is what I'm gonna wear to our Sunday roast today. So I'm gonna get on with beautifying myself um, and I'll catch up with you a little bit later or if it turns out to just be a lovely long afternoon in the pub without too much to vlog then I will see you tomorrow for a very busy day in London. Good morning my darlings. I thought I liked how I'd done my hair up in the dressing room <laughs> now I'm not sure if it's a little bit too much here and not enough going on here. I think my head looks like a funny shape. Never mind. So today I'm heading into London. I'm heading into London three times in two weeks <laughs> over the next couple of weeks, which is a lot for me. And I do, um, I like my days in the Cotswolds and I try and do one day a week in London, but it's coming up to that time of year and there's lots of lovely things going on. So today I've been really, really looking forward to the things that are going on today. I've got a lunch with the founder of Allies of Skin, Nick, which is gonna be so interesting to chat with him. And then I have got an afternoon tea with Tory Burch to celebrate Tory Burch fragrances. And I believe actual Tory is going to be there, which is really incredible. It's a brand that I've adored for many, many years, both from a fashion and home scenting and fragrance perspective. 
And then I have got a dentist appointment with Dr. Tom, who you know I adore. I have him to thank for my smile. And I'm yet to see his new clinic, which apparently is fabulous. So can't wait for that. And on the unglamorous side of things, I also want to go to M&S to stock up on thermals. <laughs> so I actually need to get cracking. So a very quick outfit of the day. I'll pop you down there, even though it's not normally the most flattering of locations and chops my head off, but this is the lovely Doen dress that you may have spotted in the middle of the last vlog. It's just got a very nice autumnal pattern. I've popped on my Valentino boots and Gucci belt. They don't match, but we're all, we're going brown. <laughs> brown is the theme for today. And then I've got my cute little Tory Burch um, shielding handbag, which I thought I would bring out because the occasion seems perfect. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on the train to London. Always slightly better for me to show you my outfit of the day like this, and I forgot um, that I've also got in my little hair bow, which does match my belt. So there we go. Just about memories, and in a way it ties perfectly into fragrance, because we launched this beautiful collection with Shiseido and our partner Space and Pay here to think about emotion in each of our five fragrances. Well, my darlings, it's half past four and I feel like vlogging today has been a total epic failure. I think I've spoken to you for granted a total of three minutes and this so very often happens on my London days. Between meetings and events it's just very hard to pick up the camera but I have now got an hour between my last event which was a glorious afternoon tea with Tori Bird. So lovely and a bit of a pinch me moment to meet her because I have been such a fan of the brand for so many years. We were reminiscing over so many of her old designs. I was telling her about what is that? Um, my favourite pieces from the sandals with the pearls on them to my tote bags to lovely dresses and yeah she was just gorgeous and oh that is a very loud tuk tuk. <laughs> um, yeah so now I've got about an hour before my dentist appointment and I thought we could do a little bit of a mooch around. The Christmas lights are not turned on yet but there's something about London when it's dark that always feels a little bit festive. I've also, um, I also recall from seeing on somebody's Instagram story, I can't remember who, someone posted that there is a new matcha place in Selfridges and um, I'm quite tempted to go and have a little look so we'll nip in there, pop up and down Bond Street and see what magic we can find in the next hour. Well I'm excited for the next time that I come into London because these lights are going to look Spectacular! I'm sure it won't be long until they're turning them on. So I found it in Selfridges. There's a place called Jenki. It's hidden away in the beauty area. Um, looks really lovely. They've got a nice menu, lots of healthy kind of supplement bits on the side here. But yes, I will let you know how the coffee or the matcha is. This is their rose and collagen version. Okay, I've tried it. It doesn't actually taste of anything, which is a little bit strange. Um, maybe I need to just stir it up a little bit, but I'll give it till the end before I rate it properly. But considering there's rose in there as well, hmm, I always love a little sunglasses try on in Selfridges. These little Chanel ones are rather cute. And these ones are perfect for autumn winter. They've actually got a kind of woolen boucle section on the side. Let me pop this down and I'll actually show you properly. I don't know if you can see in the light, but it's like a fabric section. Not seen anything like that before. Do I need a new pair of sunglasses? Absolutely not. I have someone very exciting to officially introduce you to because I don't think I've ever, 
never officially introduced you. It's been like no, time lapses. I've always been behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. but I feel like I talk about you so much That's very kind. on my videos. <laughs> this is Dr. Tom Crawford Clark, everybody. And this is the beautiful new, do you call it a studio? Uh, you can call it whatever you like, but we generally call it clinic. Clinic, yeah. yeah. Hair student, hair salon. You yeah. call it salon. A salon. Two salon. Two salon. I love that. Well, it's beautiful. <laughs> Wimpole Street is new Harley Street. Yeah. I wanted Tom to share um, some tips, things that as a dentist you wish everyone knew. What do you, if you meet someone for the first time? Mm. What are your like top tips for caring for your smile? Oh, yeah. So for just general health, obviously. Mm -hmm. Obvious things, brushing twice a day, mm -hmm. flossing. Is twice a day enough? Because I keep hearing three times now and it's just a uh, lot. I honestly think twice a day is fine. It's enough. I mean, there are some studies that say that if you actually did it really, really well once a day, <gasps> it's enough. Morning or evening? It's actually when you've got more time to do it. Okay. Yeah, but I would always say twice a day, I'm uh -huh. sure. Electric um, toothbrush? Electric toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Ideally with a pressure sensor. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so you're uh -huh. not brushing too hard. Uh -huh. If you brush too hard, you're going to get gum recession. Right. Which is not good. How hard is too hard? Um, it's actually a very good question. Yeah. I don't know whether we can quantify it with a, mm. a gram of pressure. <laughs> no, I don't but, know. Um, if you're using a manual toothbrush, mm. I actually tell people just to try using your thumb and your finger, mm -hmm. right? Don't actually hold it in your palm of your hand and just see how crazy that feels because most people with oh. their manual toothbrush would be scrubbing interesting um, and that's when they're brushing too hard okay but nowadays the electric toothbrushes mm. have that automatic pressure sensor in it yeah so you just know whether you're doing it too hard or not wow so, that's so clever and, and a timer a timer what's the ideal time two minutes two minutes because nobody will brush their teeth for two minutes I definitely don't do unless you're minutes. like told with a timer yeah um, interesting so okay. that's that's like probably the the most important thing with the toothbrush mm -hmm. and how often should people change the heads Again, very good question. Mm -hmm. It does depend a little bit on your brushing technique, I suppose. Yeah. Um, probably every six weeks, six to eight wow. weeks. Wow, yeah. gosh. So when you get your nails done, yeah, change exactly. your toothbrush head. Go straight to the to boots to buy a new toothbrush yeah. head. <laughs> Interesting. And what are your thoughts on flossing? Obviously, a lot of people, when they get a retainer, you can't use the manual floss. So yeah. water jet flossing, air flossing? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think most, again, Something's better than nothing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So some people just cannot get on with flossing, mm -hmm. and like you said, when you've got your metal wire retainer, you, you can't physically floss anymore. And mm -hmm. um, the interdental brushes that you can get, mm -hmm. which go between the gum, but like a poke. little poke thing. Yeah. There's lots of di different um, brands, but like TP is the one that you'll probably find in most shops. Mm -hmm. They come in different sizes, so you want to get quite a small one, mm. so it goes through without like too much pressure and it shouldn't obviously hurt. Mm. Um, so that's um, one thing that you can use, but yeah, it, it, again, if you're not gonna use those, you're not gonna use floss, then a water flosser is, is yeah. better than nothing. Mm. I would still say that manually Manual. cleaning with something is, is the best. Is the best thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, I'm a big coffee addict, mm -hmm. and more recently a matcha addict. <laughs> As a dentist, what are your thoughts on coffee and matcha, red wine? I mean, I can't survive without coffee, so I'm, I'm not saying you should not have it. Uh -huh. But I think if you're trying to obviously whiten your teeth, yeah. or have as white as teeth as possible, mm. then clearly anything that's going to like stain the inside of your cup mm. um, is obviously going to stain your teeth. Turmeric latte? Really bad. Oh. For your teeth. For your teeth. Not for your body. Exactly. Oh no, should I drink so, it through a straw? There you are. Really? That is one Does that actually easy, make a difference? Yeah. Because you're not going to like swirl it around your teeth so much, That's you're so just going to drink it back. Would it be better every time I take a sip of coffee, matcha or turmeric latte to then have a gulp of water afterwards? Yeah. Does that work? Yeah, that again, again, it's, like it's, it's better than, than not. not doing it. Okay. Um, but how you drink the coffee or your matcha, mm -hmm. again, without sounding silly, if you, if you drink it quite quickly mm -hmm. versus sitting on the same one for three hours, the sipping is worse. Exactly. Right. For, for your teeth. Okay, that's yeah. really interesting. So, you know, I wouldn't obviously recommend shutting a hot mm -hmm. espresso, but mm -hmm. you know, if you needed that caffeine hit, yeah. 
And espresso is probably the best thing to have. Oh, ah, okay, damn it. Because you're just drinking it quickly. I'm a really slow, <laughs> slow <laughs> drinker. Okay, that's very annoying. Yeah. Aside from coffee and obviously red wine and obviously yeah. smoking, what yeah. are the things that we do that are really bad for our teeth that you wish everyone didn't do? Um, I think a lot of people who are trying to be healthy these days, mm -hmm. you're going to be thinking about having, you know, fruit, smoothies. Sugar spike. Yeah. But yep, yep. <laughs> um, for your teeth, obviously, fruit isn't ideal yeah. because it's acidic. Mm -hmm. um, and juice worse than biting into a fruit? Yeah. Interesting. Definitely. So fruit juices, for sure, are the worst thing. Mm. And again, what you might be doing, trying to be good, mm. is you brush your teeth straight away afterwards. Yeah. But actually, for a good hour after having that fruit acid, mm. your teeth are at their weakest. Oh. So if you then go and brush straight away, yeah. you're, you're actually brushing like off that very superficial layer. Wow. So you're better off having just some water, uh -huh. or if you're at home, having some mouthwash. Mm -hmm. But yeah, waiting at least an hour before you actually hour. brush, yeah. So is that the rule mostly for things like fruit juice, which are maybe a little bit acidic? Yeah. Or should you wait after any meal? Um, I would know it's, it's specifically to like with the acid. Mm -hmm. So that goes for the same for obviously fizzy drinks, mm -hmm. alcoholic, you know, beverages mm -hmm. that are sort of you know acidic. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you're having just food, then mm -hmm. uh, there's no issue with with brushing it straight away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Another really random question: Why does alcohol sometimes give you bad breath, like champagne especially? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I find at parties, you know, someone yeah. has a glass of champagne and they're right here because the alcohol's made them have no personal space and it's like, hmm, is there a reason? Is it just alcohol <laughs> dehydrating I, you? I, I, think, I actually don't know. Maybe it's dehydration. I actually don't know. Um, I mean, it's quite a strong smell like smell. ethanol. Yeah. Really. yeah. And obviously you can't smell it on yourself, but yeah. I think it's quite obvious when, especially if you go into a lift or something and someone's mm. been drinking, you can, sell, you can smell it straight you can away, smell right? It well. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Yeah, as a, as a dentist, I, we're not taught about alcohol given yeah. by a breath. Okay, that's a, that's a question mark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And are there Do any other see? things that, as a dentist, you just wish more people did as a regular thing or didn't do? Yeah, I mean, again, it's, it's, the, it's the simple stuff. Just come and see a good dentist yeah. at least twice a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Some people can get away with maybe coming once a year, but mm -hmm. if you come twice a year, any small problems are picked up early mm -hmm. um, and also seeing a really good hygienist. Hygienist. Because yeah. a lot of people think that a hygienist is just going in to have your teeth cleaned and they look pretty. Like I do think that. Yeah. So what is it? <laughs> They're actually doing a lot, lot more than that. Oh. A lot more. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. So the majority of the population, mm -hmm. you can brush your teeth as well as you think you're brushing them. Mm. But you're going to be missing some areas. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's physically impossible to clean 100% of every single tooth every single day. Mm. So the hygienist is there to help you get to those hard to reach areas. Okay. Again, depending on the hygienist you see, we've got two amazing, amazing hygienists here. Mm -hmm. We use something that actually temporarily stains the bacteria on your teeth. Wow. So you can see in the mirror. So you, you know, petrify people to then be like, right, this educated. is how it's better. Yeah, educated, <laughs> educated. <okay. laughs> no, A dentist should never be petrified. No, obviously. never. Obviously. I've never been petrified coming. But, <laughs> that's I've good. been petrified with other dentists, yeah. but we won't go. No, that's good. Um, so that's quite useful because actually you might think you're brushing really well. Yeah. And then actually if you see it, you think, oh, I'm missing this area a lot more than this side, for example. Mm. Um, and then, so yes, they're getting rid of all that superficial like bacteria that's staying on top of your teeth. Mm. But they're also cleaning underneath the, the gum line. Because even in a healthy gum, there might be two to three millimeters of space under the gum. Whoa. Yeah. That's and that's, that's still healthy, yeah. but there's no way you can actually brush down there. No. So again, the hygienist is cleaning out the gums for you as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So book your hygienist. Definitely book done. your hygienist. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and then my final question. Um, obviously, Charlie and I got married this summer. Maybe. And I think that, actually, I think my reason for coming to see you originally, yeah. even though we had like nine million years, <laughs> we had a lot of time to play with because our, our engagement lasted forever, yeah. it was to get the perfect smile for our wedding. Yeah. What would be your top tip? Someone's just got engaged. What are your top dental tips for the perfect wedding smile? Fine. 
I mean, I'd always say, you know, what, what is perfect to one person is completely different to another, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it might just be as simple as doing some tooth finding, mm -hmm. which really is so easy to do. Um, obviously the other things most people come to see me for is a bit of an invisible line, mm -hmm. getting the teeth straight, mm -hmm. not only does it look better, yeah. straight teeth are easier to clean, clean yes. better bite. Yeah. So there's lots of benefits to actually having straight teeth. Mm. And then again, a lot of people come to see me like yourself did mm -hmm. for the Opposite Opposite one thing. One thing. But I think that makes way. such a difference. A yeah. Way, because it can obviously change the shape and size of your teeth. Mm. It can improve the colour, mm -hmm. but also can you know sort of widen the smile yeah. and give your teeth that fuller look, mm -hmm. but still trying to keep it look very natural. Which is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna leave Tom's Instagram down below because you do the most amazing before and afters of sometimes just of composite bonding. Like you've only done composite bonding on someone yeah. and it changes their entire face. Yeah. Like it's yeah. so dramatic. I think you've become like known as the king of composite bonding to just make it look yeah. so natural. That's it. And that's yeah. something that we strive to do here it's not yeah. making your teeth look like a chewing gum piece no it's trying to actually make your own tooth look like your own tooth yeah. just enhancing that actual sort of natural appearance definitely so. and what i loved about our first consultations is you asked me all these questions and you wanted to know if i wanted it to look like super natural like how far did we want to go you gave me so many options yeah. it's like a complete as bespoke as my wedding dress was yeah. was how bespoke <laughs> my smile yeah. was and you offer that to everyone right yeah. how does how would someone get in touch with you to start that process? Very easy, Instagram. Really? Yep. Instagram first? Just message us through there wow. and then one of the team will guide you through the process and uh, hopefully get to see you in the pic. In very, this very gorgeous tooth salon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love, love it, tooth salon. Well, I'll uh, <laughs> let you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank, Thank you, you. Dr. Tom, everybody. Yay! There's only one problem with Dr. Tom's new clinic. And that problem is that I now have to walk past Honest Burger to get to the train station. And you guys know me well enough to know that I can't actually walk past an Honest Burger and not go in. It is a severe personality flaw. So if I don't have one now, then to be honest, it's just too late for me to have dinner really, because by the time I get home, it's too late. So I think I've just talked myself into it. Oh my gosh, they have got a Christmas menu. Yeah, I've got my burger, I've got my onion rings, I've got my chipotle mayo, and I'm just gonna watch one of Emily's vlogs while I eat this. Got my AirPods because dining solo is very awkward without them. I know it shouldn't be, but I also need some entertainment. 